Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the John Crossland School's 2021 Gala Celebration. It is the school's first ever virtual gala, live streaming to you from Quail Hollow Club in Charlotte, North Carolina. Maybe it's your first virtual gala. I promise it's going to be way more fun than that last Zoom meeting you did. My name is Kristen Miranda. Many of you may know I'm a co-host of QC Morning and QC at 3 on WBTV here in Charlotte. It is such a fun job. I love to do it. And it is also my pleasure to be here again this year for the school's annual gala. Thank you for watching tonight. Thank you for supporting this extraordinary independent K-12 school for students who learn differently. We have a theme tonight. It is We Belong, highlighting how students who learn differently find a community at this school where they belong and learn to believe in themselves so they can succeed in school, work, and life. I'm going to ask you now to join me in raising a glass for a toast. I need a glass. Someone, Jim, can you hand me my glass? We have to have a toast. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's nice. Let us raise our glasses to honor the vision of Mary Dorr and the generosity of John Crossland. And in thanks for this opportunity to celebrate the school, its faculty, and its staff, its students, and their families, and all the alumni and friends of the school. So, cheers, cheers, everyone in this room. Cheers. cheers. Oh, they're, they're here. Do you hear them? <laughs> now to kick off our program, please help me welcome head of school, Hallie Rojeski, to the podium. Good evening. I'm Hallie Rojeski, and it's wonderful when the magic is offered to you where you can work in a place that you love with your life's mission. I've been in the world of special education for 20 years. However, I've called John Crossland School home for the past three. We transform the lives of students with learning differences. We talk about the whole child, individualization, as well as in a diverse, caring, and definitely welcoming environment where every child belongs. Whether they have dyslexia, dyscalculia, whether it's they're on the spectrum ADHD, our students are supported by every teacher. Students come to us after sometimes feeling experiences of failure in traditional settings. However, when they come to us, it changes. They begin to believe in themselves and they know that they can succeed. The first goal of the John Croslin teacher is to make sure they build relationships. They need to know what do these students, what are their hobbies, what are their interests, what do they love? We know that students learn best when they are loved by others. Tonight you will hear stories firsthand from students, faculty, and their parents. My board chair always says you're only happy as a parent by, by your most unhappy child. We try to make sure the children of Crosland are very happy. Please um, just open, listen, have open hearts, and uh, enjoy the rest of the gala. Thank you. I would like to take a moment to thank some folks who are making tonight possible. Thanks to our event sponsor, U.S. Bank, our community partners, Bright House Financial, and Catherine D. Jandrasik Savitsky General and Cosmetic Dentistry, and our friends of the school sponsors, Heimboss Sewing and Vacuum Centers, and Arthur Elliott. Our gala VIP hosts and patrons also deserve our thanks for the generous donations they have already made to the gala. And of course, we thank the many organizations that donated items for our raffle and for our auctions. Finally, we do want to, to thank Laura and Mark Reed for enabling us to broadcast our virtual gala from these gracious surroundings tonight. It is so beautiful here, um, here at Quail Hollow Club through their membership. We also thank the club staff for exceptional service as we planned and are carrying out tonight's virtual gala. Now we want to share another inspiring video before we move into the live auction. The neurotypical kid can either teach themselves, learn a little bit, need a little bit of direction, but frankly don't need 
us where sometimes it's wonderful to be able to give the attention to the students that need us and they need the hands-on, multi-sensory approach, the idea that our teachers have Orton-Gillingham training when they're younger to help students with dyslexia. So the idea is we group the children and our teachers choose to come back year after year after year to help our population. It is their, it's their mission in life. Here at Crosland, we have a lot of professional staff members who really understand the needs and the challenges that students with these different diagnoses face. When comparing it to public school and just in my previous experience, you have a lot of great staff members. Teachers are superstars, right? They're rock stars. But here, everyone has a true understanding of what those diagnoses mean and what those diagnoses can present. Really the mission of the school and how I've seen my children grow gets me excited and really wants me to partner with them as much as I can. Um, I want to help them because I want to be able for them to be able to support the children that go here. Brady is diagnosed with an anxiety disorder as well as ADHD as well as OCD. So we have our hands full at home. When we toured John Crosland, uh, I asked Brady what he thought about it and he said, it feels like home. So to me, that was my sign. He's had huge successes since we've been here. Trouble at home has been a lot less. He has friends. He didn't really have any friends in a public school. He had maybe one friend, but here he has a whole classroom of friends. So it's been, it's been a wonderful journey. I think John Crossland is great. Um, the teachers are extremely supportive and they go up and beyond to meet your needs and try to focus on you when you need it. I think 20 years ago, it was black and white. This is the way you learn and that's kind of it. Where now, you can learn four or five different ways and you, there is a myriad of colors in your learning palette and you should be able to paint with all of them. And the whole slogan, you find a place where you belong at Crossland and it's true even as an adult. I mean, it's just amazing. I see myself in a lot of the kids, which is why I just, I can't give up on them. And I just, it's a good feeling. So when you see students come in and they can't read sight words, and by that end of that year, they're reading and they're excited and they love it. It makes every hard day worth it. Our children come with their own version of who they want to be. So most of our students go on to college. Some it's two years, some it's four years. The counselors meet consistently with the family, help them follow, fill out college applications, help them look at volunteering experience to make sure that when they leave, there is a plan. And we know that there's, um, that's something that that child will appreciate and learn from. Thank you. Uh, this, this school has, there's, kids in here that need this place. Well, now we're all crying. A whole classroom of friends. That was really special. I hope you're beginning to see why this is such a special place. Mr. Jim Callagrew is the vice chair, head of corporate and commercial banking at U.S. Bank, but he is known more intimately to the Door and Crossland family as a parent of a former Door Academy student and a former chair of the board of directors of the school. Jim continues his support of the school as a member of the board of trustees. And additionally, U.S. Bank is also the event sponsor for this year's gala. So please help me welcome Jim Calagro. Hi there, friends. Thanks so much, Kristen. Thanks for everything you're doing tonight. Thank well, you so much. This is the exciting part. You get the fun part. I know. And uh, this is new for me. This is my first virtual fundraising event. I've done lots. Of, we've all done lots of virtual events over the last 15 months. and. WebEx and Zoom and Microsoft Teams and all that, but this is a first for me. So I have to uh, go off script a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, Kristen, and, um, and, and she mentioned this, but the John Crossland School is a game changer for, for our family and for my son, um, who went there literally 15 years ago and spent four years at the school. And a uh, tremendously successful kid. Um, he's uh, going to Elon this, this fall. Um, it's been, been an amazing journey and just wanted to say a sincere thank you to the, the school for everything they've done and having previously been the board chair and everything else and, and been very involved in the school. Um, it's just done wonders. So if there's ever a time that, that we stretch uh, as a family for the school, tonight's the night and we really appreciate every, every one of you being here. Having him in public school, it was difficult at times. 
The reason why I like John Crossing School is because it's a special private school that I really want to go to since I was in ninth grade. And I love John Crossing because it makes me feel like I'm part of the school spirit. Jillian was diagnosed with um, autism slash Asperger's and ADHD when she was three years old. At Croslin, it was a, a totally different atmosphere. There, there was a huge difference in, in comprehension for him. There was a difference in acceptance with him. If you don't know any of those people at John Croslin, you should say hello to new people. So that way, you'll get to know each other and you might find something in common with each other. Croslin became almost like a family. He blossomed at Croslin. Uh, things that I never thought he'd be able to do. Uh, he did with flying colors. We did not know, would she live on her own? Would she be able to adapt to an environment um, of peers, of teachers, of pressure? And Croslin really helped her build her confidence for that and also the guidance counselor really helped find schools with accommodations um, in their learning disabilities department, as well as identify schools that would match her. Since I graduated, I work at the working ink company, which is called Poteet Printing Systems. So my position is warehouse specialist. The idea is they know themselves as learners. They understand that I need this to succeed. They leave us knowing what they need in their toolkit to succeed, if, if it's college, if it's career, but they um, are very self-aware. I'm grateful that the staff, teachers, everyone at that school understands the struggles of the parents trying to find the best place for their kids. It is home not only for them, but for us. I've always felt comfortable in any sort of question I have that they have the ability to answer and it's really changed the trajectory of Jillian. I'd like to thank the teachers and staff at Crossland for their hard work and dedication and well it's, it's really just love. Thank, thank you so much and thank you to all of you who donated. Um, everyone in this room, everyone at the school, we are so grateful. So thank you uh, for that. Let's give all of our donors a big round of applause. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now, if you didn't participate in the tiered donor appeal, the paddle raise, the kid raise, Simba, like Simba, you still have a chance to donate now. Right. You can choose a custom amount that's even larger that's going to support the students. That's fine, but all of that can go in the custom That's right. Box. It doesn't have to be $21 or $2 million $21. It just can be anything. So thank you for doing that. All right. The, the gift for those of you who stuck around this long is to watch this final video, and I promise you'll love it. It's amazing. I, I learned a lot that a lot of kids have the same learning disabilities as me, so it makes me fit in more. And like even sometimes we joke about it too, so it, it's a lot of fun. I learned that I can do the work if I just like find my way of how to do it. I like to learn about like animals. I was just learning about figurative language and poetry with my new teacher, Miss Otley. They put in the effort. They, if, if you're struggling, they will help you. I like the people and I like the teachers. I was in a school with all guys, and so this definitely, I have more girls in my class, and there's lockers, and I can switch classes, and just more of a high school experience. As a small nonprofit, we have less than 100 students. Um, the idea that our, our giving reaches the broader Charlotte community as well as people continue to give and give. So it's very humbling when you receive the support, the donations, um, sometimes just a letter saying, I see what you do in the community and that's beautiful. I want people to, you know, when they, when they donate, when they hit the donate now button, to feel and know that their money is going to a fabulous cause. I belong here because everyone likes me, everyone. I belong at at John Clausen. I like this school and I belong here. I belong at this school because I will make a lot of friends. Oh my gosh, truly inspiring. 
Thank you all for sticking with us for that. Now, this means we're closing in on the final moments of the virtual gala. We have just two more things to do. All right, you ready? Um, we do want you to continue to donate any amount now to help us meet our goal. As we said, we're getting there. We're almost there. So any amount that you donate is going to help us. We're also going to draw and announce the raffle winner's name, and then we're going to see if we met the goal to dye Bumble's tail. We have good information coming up on that one. But now for what the raffle ticket buyers have been waiting for. As I mentioned earlier, the raffle prize is that beautiful ruby and diamond necklace. The total value on that is $800. The raffle ticket drawing was just conducted by one, one cause under the eagle eye of our director of advancement, Dr. Portia York. And Portia is here to tell us who won. Who won the raffle, ma'am? Okay, everyone. The winner is Rebecca Minthorn. Oh! Good job, Rebecca. Uh, before you leave, we were supposed to get to 35 people, $1,400 to dye Bumble's tail. What is the update there? We have successfully reached our goal. 35 people. Woo! 35 people donated $40 and Bumble's tail will be the colors of our school. Bumble has been waiting patiently to find out if her, 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 yes. her tail would be dyed. Let's check in on Bumble. All right, here we go. Oh boy, it looks like food coloring. Smells really good. Waiting. She's, she has been so patient. Oh my gosh, perfect. She likes being pampered. She likes being pampered. Oh. I mean, I dye my hair, maybe some of you do. Hallie said, I dye my hair, maybe some of you do. I don't know what you're talking about, girl. I don't know what you're, I have no idea. I don't either. I don't either. All right. All right, thank you, Kristen. Well, don't go too far, because we still need you. Okay. Um, we have raised how much money tonight so far? I need a new count. Is it a, over 180,000? Over 190. <gasps> over 190. Thank you for your support tonight. Thank you for letting me be a part of this night tonight. It has been so much fun. It is such an awesome demonstration of all of your support for the John Crossland School. Um, and I just wish everyone knew what we all know about this wonderful, wonderful organization. All right, Portia, you stay because I think you're going to tell us about the silent auction and close out the night. Yes, thank you, Kristen. Yes. Um, thank you, everyone, tonight. Tonight has been a stellar celebration of the school's 42nd year legacy and of the students who are the reason we are here today. We have thanked our sponsors, our VIP hosts, and our patrons, but I also want to recognize some of the most important groups of people, our volunteers for helping tonight and the months of planning for this event, our alumni and alumni family members, whose loyalty we treasure, our parents who entrust their children to us, our board members who guide our school into its future, and our faculty and staff of the John Croslin School who make all the difference for our students. So donor in our donors and friends of the school. So that means everyone watching. I give a heartfelt thanks to all of you. It means so much to have you joining with us tonight to celebrate the importance of all that Croson does for students and all that we stand for. Because of you, our school is strengthened to help more students belong, believe, and succeed. So thank you again for choosing to spend your evening celebrating and supporting the John Croson School. Thank you all again, and please be safe and have a good night.